So when we're in this portion of the curve, this this straight portion of the curve, that's what we call elastic deformation. Right. And you know, here we've just got a little rubber band. Okay, everybody thinks of this in terms of an elastic material, right? I put a certain amount of force on it. It stretches nice and linearly. It comes right back to where it was. Elastic deformation essentially is I put force in it. I deform it. When I let go, it goes back to where it was. It's not a permanent deformation. However, plastic deformation. So when I go up this curve and I go into the flatter section here where we change the slope, mm -hmm. that's plastic deformation. And that's deformation. I'm still applying force. Um, I'm, I'm now starting to deform it, but plastic deformation is not going to return to its original position. And that's a big part of metalworking, right? You know, we first push on something, it moves out of the way, then we start to plow it out of the way, that's that plastic deformation, and eventually we shear it, and that's that final stage well, here. Yeah, yeah where you yeah. got the star at, that's right. basically your shear. So, you know, just another, another example would be, um, you know, if I switch cameras here, all right, so I've got this little piece of aluminum wire. You know, if I do this, that's pure elastic deformation. Right. I put a force on it, it moves, it, it springs, springs back. back. Yeah. Now, if I put a little bit greater force on it, that's plastic deformation. Okay, I've deformed it and it is not coming back. 